Hey there you guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to design your own Campbell's can soup label. So right here, I have some broccoli cheese soup. And you're probably wondering, why are we talking about soup? Um, so we're gonna learn about the artist Andy Warhol first. So Andy Warhol was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And he is a super important artist because he was a huge part of the pop art movement in the 1960s. So he was famous for making artwork based on advertisements. He photographed a lot of celebrities and he was also a director of film. So Andy Warhol is most famous for his Campbell soup cans and his celebrity pictures. So today I thought we would design our own Campbell soup can label. Now, if you don't have a can of soup on hand, that is okay. I actually had to borrow this from my parents' house because they didn't have the regular size Campbell's soup can. If you have the um, chunky soup, or if you have, say, a can of fruit, or even you could use a jar of peanut butter, anything with this paper label is what you're gonna need. So, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get our supplies ready to go. So I chose to do my Campbell's soup can label using markers and a pencil. So if you want to use markers too, go ahead and get those ready. If you want to use any other supplies, feel free. So before I got started on drawing my beautiful label design, I first needed to get this soup can label. So you can just carefully take off or cut off the label from your own can or jar. So we're gonna go ahead and take this and we're going to trace it on a piece of paper. So I'm actually gonna use the piece of paper that I used before to try to save some paper. Alrighty, so I went ahead and I traced my label. So this is gonna ensure that it's going to fit perfectly on our soup can when we're all finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip of me actually coloring my Campbell's soup can label. So I'm going ahead and I'm using some packing tape to actually tape my soup label on my can. Um, if you want to use scotch tape, that's fine, or if you have masking tape at home, that's great too. So I went ahead and I put two pieces of tape here on the back and I'm going to go ahead and tape it now to my can. Um, if you also want to use an empty can, that is totally fine. Okay, so I'm going to kind of line it up the best that I can. I'm going to gently fold it over and line it up with the edge. It might be a little bit difficult, so give it your best try and be patient. Okay, so this is my Campbell's soup label. I've got my Campbell's name on the front, Unicorn Chow, and then I got my pretty little picture of the unicorn on the back. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out, and I might actually try to do it to some of my fruit cans that I have in my pantry. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that lesson. I hope you have fun creating at home, and I miss you guys so much. I hope you're healthy and well, and I'll see you next time.